Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in analytical geometry. In this lesson we're going to carry on working with our straight line but this time we're going to use the gradient point form. The gradient point form. And what it is, is we are basically just using the rearrangement of this. We know that the gradient can be got from basically the rise over the run or the change in y over the change in x or what we can say is y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals m. But we can rearrange this, we can times both sides, multiply both sides by the denominator and we end up with this equation y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 and this is called the gradient point form. Now again grade 11's this is not on your formula sheet so if you decide to use this method you need to know it for yourselves. Okay so let's put this into practice. It says determine the equation of a straight line passing through the point 3 minus 2 and m equals minus a half. Okay so this is pretty easy in this form because we're just going to let this be x1, y1 and they've given us the gradient of negative a half so all we do is substitute into this so we've got y minus y1 which is minus 2 equals the gradient which is minus a half then we've got x minus 3 and then we just multiply it out. We go y minus times minus is a plus is equal to minus a half x minus times minus is a plus and then that becomes 3 over 2 and then of course we have to solve for y because we want it in the normal standard form and remember the standard form is equal to y equals mx plus c so this becomes y is equal to minus a half x plus 3 over 2 minus 2 which is equal to minus a half x 3 over 2 is 1 and a half so you've got 1 and a half minus 2 is just going to be minus a half okay so that was pretty easy but grade 11's gets, let's get real they hardly ever give you a point and a gradient just off like that so let's look at applying this rule here to when we have two points. Okay, so last lesson you learned how to use the two-point form. Now we're going to use this form and I'm just going to show you how to do it. So what we can do is we can use this to find the gradient where we let this be our x and our y and this be our x1, y1. Okay, then if we do that, we've got y, which is 8, minus y1, which is 2, is equal to m. Then it becomes x, which is 5, minus minus 3. So this becomes 8 minus 2 is 6, is equal to m. 5 minus minus 3 is 8. Therefore, your m is going to be 6 over 8. Therefore, m is going to be 3 quarters. And then if you wanted to, you can substitute this straight back into this equation. But this time we only use one of these points. So in this case, let's uh, ignore this point here and just use this one. So there we'd have y minus y1, which is 2. But now we've got the gradient and the gradient is 3 quarters. And then we've got x minus x1 which is going to be minus 3. So there we've got y minus 2 is equal to 3 quarters x plus 3. So we've got y minus 2 is equal to 3 over 4x plus 3 times 3 is 9 over 4. So this becomes y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 9 divided by 4 is actually 2 and a quarter and we're just going to add the 2 over here as well so that becomes 3 over 4 x plus or another way of doing this is you could say that this is 9 over 4 plus 8 over 4 which is 3 over 4 x plus 9 plus 8 is 17 over 4. That's if you want to keep the denominator as 4's otherwise you could realize that that is the same this is the same as 4 and a quarter and that is your y-intercept. 
So grade 11s, you can see that using the two-point form is actually very easy as well. It really doesn't matter which one you use. There are lots of different ways that you can do this. You need to choose the one that's best for you. So please go practice, see which is best for you, which one you're going to remember, and then do that. Have a great day. Thank you.